take a look at any car from 10 years ago, what stands out the most? A ton of buttons, dials, knobs, and a tiny non-touchscreen center display. Jump to 2023 and all of that's gone, replaced by a huge center touchscreen display. In this video, I'm going to go over why the auto industry shifted so quickly to this new infotainment design from the user experience side, the engineering side, and what this means for the cars of the future. Ever since the Model S and the lesser known Tesla Roadster, the expectation for a new car buyer is a big center screen with navigation, Apple CarPlay, or Android Auto, and the bigger, the better. Drew Meehan, senior product manager and former UX designer at the GPS company, TomTom Tom says, people like touchscreens and see them as being modern and relatable because they echo their consumer devices. For OEMs, this is a win-win scenario. They can save money while simultaneously providing an experience that's perceived by consumers as more premium, more modern, and more approachable than traditional in-car systems like rotary knob controllers. Cars have always been a part of America's culture, but now have shifted from a means of transportation to another tech product alongside our phones. With this expectation now ingrained in modern consumers, the last part of the statement has been fully embraced by auto manufacturers all at the detriment of the consumer. They can save money while simultaneously providing an experience that's perceived by consumers as more premium, more modern, and more approachable than traditional in-car systems like rotary knob controllers. Why have dials and buttons that require testing and manufacturing when you can design software that can handle the HVAC? A single screen and a software dev can replace all these unnecessary items that will break eventually and software updates that can fix anything that gets past initial product launches through over-air updates. This is the new mentality of modern auto manufacturers. Lessons learned from being overtaken by startups that disregard convention and blaze a new trail in the auto tech ecosystem. Remember, Tesla is not a car company. It's a tech and battery company that makes cars and they've carved a massive market share in EVs in a little over 10 years. Now, slow, conservative names in the auto industry are furiously trying to catch up. Car companies say rotary knobs and physical switches are perceived to be antiquated and less approachable by modern car buyers, but a touchscreen that provides no tactile feedback, requiring drivers to take their eyes off the road for seconds at a time, traveling hundreds of feet without looking where they're driving. A study in 2020s found Apple CarPlay and Android Auto to contribute to a delay reaction of over 1.5 seconds, more than driving drunk, being high of weed, or texting. It's not surprising that a screen resembling your phone or laptop would drive your attention away from driving. And this is another untended result of appifying the means of transportation. Take a look under the hood of a modern car and one from over 30 years ago. And what you see now is plastic covering everything so that you don't even bother to try to work on it. Much like the software industry, your drivable app isn't really yours. It's more like a lease that has an expiry date when the life cycle of the tech is over or when the hardware fails. When your phone breaks, it's easy enough just to buy another one. Good luck when your Tesla breaks. This is why right to repair is so important. Just this week, Tesla is recalling 362,000 cars equipped with their full self-driving software, a $15,000 option that's not even truly full self-driving and still struggles in less than perfect driving conditions. Even premium manufacturers are adding microtransactions to your own vehicle. So thanks, Elon. Thanks for starting this trend. Now we have the privilege to drive unfixable tablets that will predictably fail after so many charges and pay monthly subscriptions to features that we already paid for. Fortunately, there's still a few car makers that understand the user experience and believe in their product enough to make cars that are usable by actual humans. Touch screens look nice and premium, but they can't solve what physical buttons can. At the end of the day, a car is meant to get you from point A to point B, and we shouldn't have to make compromises just for the sake of cost-cutting and perceived industry trends.